Hey everybody, welcome back to another Chill Tech Zero video. So in this video, we are going to be doing a home screen setup for Asami. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is open up the Play Store, and we are going to be downloading three applications. One of those is Smart Launcher 6. It's right here. Go ahead and start letting that install. And we are gonna also search for Lines icon pack let's see it's right here i already have mine installed so go ahead and get yours installed and this is the one this is a really good icon pack and the next application that we are going to need is going to be the kwgt widget now if you have google play pass then you're going to be able to use this for free as part of your uh, subscription and if not i'm not really sure <laughs> but go ahead and download this application and let's see what happens. I think you should be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and check and see if Smart Launcher is finished yet because we are going to be making that our launcher. All right, so it is. I'm going to go ahead and, yep, I've actually got this version some time ago. I love using this launcher. Hit continue. I'm going to allow these things here because I'm already used to using this launcher. It's one of my favorite ones. And I'm going to go ahead and because you guys don't have this wallpaper already, I'm going to go with the suggested one and hit confirm. But we're going to do all of this together. So don't worry. I'm going to set as default. Smart launcher. And here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this widget. If you like this one, you can use it. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And then the first thing that we want to do is open up our gallery. Now, whenever you first tap, uh, tap on one of these icons, it's going to prompt you to pick which one you want. Uh, for me, it's Google Photos or just the Samsung gallery. I'm going to use the Samsung gallery where I already have the picture here. The link is inside of the description below to go ahead and download this wallpaper. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set as wallpaper for the home and lock screen. And I'm going to pull it down just a little bit so her hair is fully visible. And from here, you could pick whichever kind of color palette that you want. I'm going to leave it right here on this first default one. I think this one looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and head home. And the next thing that we want to do is just kind of press your finger somewhere. I'm going to press up here above her elbow. And then I'm going to show all settings. And here's where you can customize everything that you want here inside of this smart launcher. So we're gonna actually go to a home page and then we're gonna to go to icon appearance. And one thing I like about this launcher is you can choose to use an icon pack for the app page or just the home page. Normally I leave the app page just looking at default or a different colorful looking um, app icon pack. So I'm just gonna be changing the home page on this tutorial and I'm gonna pick the lines free and then I'm gonna go back and yep this is fine i'm going to go back again now the next thing that we want to change is grid properties and the second thing that i like to change is i like to leave the columns here on five but for rows let's tap and make this 14. okay then we're going to go back and let's see here this is pretty good i'm going to go back again and the next place that we're going to actually go to is global appearance it's right here under wallpaper and then for the font, we're gonna tap here. And for title font, we're gonna actually change it. If you want it, you could put this whatever you want. I'm gonna actually go ahead and pick this one here. I like this how this font actually looks. And then I'm gonna go back. And the next thing that I wanna do is scroll down to screen here. And then I'm gonna tap here. And it, um, if you want it to be ultra immersive mode, you can do that and hide the navigation bar. I do know that I, sometime I'll turn this on. I'll go ahead and turn it on now. But the status bar visibility is the main one. Unless you just want to see your notifications at the top, which is totally fine. But if you want it to be a fully clean look, then go ahead and put your status bar as hidden. So from there, let's go ahead and head back. Let's back out and see where we are. All right, so we're almost done already. <laughs> now, you see at the very bottom where it says Smart Search. Hold your finger down on that and then press Configure. And from here, you see where it says custom hint text, smart search, tap right here. And you can type in whatever you want here. I'm actually gonna type in the name of the channel, Chill Tech. Whoops, let's go ahead and keep it all lowercase. Zero, hit okay. 
And for the skin here, you can pick whichever one you want. I kind of leave it right here on this first one here so that it's kind of just rounded. It looks really nice. So this looks pretty good right here. All right, so we got one more thing to do, and that is, to, that is to add our widget. So press again anywhere on the screen here, and then um, we're going to actually press right here, Add Widget. And from here, let's go ahead and scroll down until we see the KWGT widget. It's right here, and I'm going to pick the 4x4 one. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down to the bottom here. If you touch and hold on it, you can spread it out. And this is fine for now. Tap anywhere off of it. And now we're going to go ahead and just tap it with the finger. It's going to bring this up. Now the widget that we use here on the beginning is going to be widget. I think it's 56. Oh, not 56. 59. 59 is the one. All right. So tap here. And this here is going to be the uh, actual widget that we're going to want to use. Hit save and then go home. Whoops, that one didn't take. Well, let's see here. Let's search for it again. Widget 59. That's the one that we want. Yeah. There we go. Now it's doing it. <laughs> All right, go ahead and hit the save button. Now let's uh, go ahead and head home. So this is looking pretty good here. If you tap and hold on this widget, you can resize it. I'm going to bring mine up a little bit here. I see that my play button looks a little funny. If that happens, uh, don't stress out over that. <laughs> I'm going to put it back here. And then um, I think what I'm going to do is make mine bigger here. And then I'm going to hit open app. Oh, oh not that one. Just tap on it. Nope, oh, not that either. There we go. So kind of tap on like the word February. I was trying to figure out where to tap at there. Oh, there we go. That was weird. It didn't do it didn't do that earlier when I was playing around with this, but kind of just fixed itself. All right. So, anyways, this is what you should have. It should be showing the full play button here. Um, and so we're almost done. Now the last thing to actually do is hold your finger down on this widget and then press on find positioning and then tap move. And from here, you can either just hold your finger down and it's going to jump. And I kind of like to tap it over some more just so that I can get it all the way over to just the edge here and not go past it. From there, once you tap away from it, that's it. You're done. Now, any application down here on this bottom, of course, once you swipe up, you'll get to your app page. So you can drag out and kind of reorganize this however you want it to be. Okay, so... This is basically how I got the home screen set up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I want to do a whole lot more home screen setups. And if you're using the Z Fold 3, don't worry. This is going to look good once you close your device and look at the front display. It's still going to be looking just as cool, just as awesome. And yeah, I hope to do more of these home, uh, home screen setups. <laughs> and uh, I will catch you guys inside of the next video. Thanks for watching.